Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. This week on my bench, I've got the connecting project with some of my new Smalty from Smalty Emporium, which I'm just starting to figure out and hopefully get that started this week. Then I pulled some new bases that I purchased. I have to prep these with paint, but I'm, I'm gonna make them similar to these Christmas ornaments. I know we're at the end of June, but it really is time to start making Christmas items or small gifts. And I have some left over from last year. So there's four of these and there's three of these. These are a little bit bigger. And I get started on those this week. That's my smalls. And then I've been staring at these for a long time. I started them with beads and with tile. I don't know how to finish them. If I should use glass and cut it, that takes a while or go with more beads. But I'm gonna figure it out this week and, and knock these out. And then over here, I've got my stone, which I just need to seal, and then I'll place it in the garden. And I had a neighbor donate all this glass to me. His mom was a stained glass artist. So I will probably sort it this week, but I'm gonna bring it inside the house because it's supposed to be hot and humid, and I don't wanna do that in my studio, so. I can hopefully bring that inside and work. I decided one thing that could make these better is Millie. Everything's better with Millie, isn't it? So uh, this is Millie Fiore from Wits in Mosaic, and I think I'm gonna add a little bit on each of them. Probably won't fill it all up with it, but I'm gonna use it for sure. It's time to seal this, and I'm just gonna use a sealant for stone tile and grout. What I do is so easy. Simply put a little bit in the cap and I get a brush, brush it on. You can tell where it goes because it's darkening the grout just a bit. And then I take a rag and wipe off the excess. And it should, according to, you can look at the package directions, but I think you're supposed to ideally reseal these every year, I think. You can check on that. I used the same sealant to seal the stone before I started. this frog which is here in my sun garden with the butterfly stepping stone and I'm gonna move the frog to an area with some more shade and, and furnace in place. There it is in my sun garden with the sun. And over here I've got my dragonfly. I'm just getting encroached upon by Venus. Rosemary. Frog stepping stone has now been relocated back here where there's a little more shade. So more appropriate for frog, I think. This week is going to be my potted plants on my deck. This is a $5 plant. It went bananas. And the crazy thing about it is, it's the 4th of July and I still have a pansy in there. Unbelievable. Anyway, I love how that one's growing. In this container, I've got some snapdragons that were left over from last year. And this is, I guess, a perennial from last year. So I planted the super bells and I planted the sweet pea, which is just now starting to bloom. Unfortunately, the sweet pea has some damage, but I'll take it. it really doesn't have a thriller. This, however, is the view that I want to show everyone. Look at those rail planters. I had to trim them up because the light pink bubblegum vista was just going crazy. And then I've got some Supertunia fuchsia vista 
and euphorbia in there. They are coming along better than I've ever had them look. And then at the base of the deck, way down there at the bottom, I planted these morning glories, which are finally starting to look glorious every day. There's a mix in there. So far, this uh, light purple one is the one that's bloomed the most. There's my second planter. There's another morning glory. I have had a lot of issues with the leaves, but still doing pretty well. Look at that. The fuchsia was a little bit smaller when I planted it, so they're coming along a little bit slower than the others. And on the ground, I've got some sunflowers peeking through. Oh, and I also have got a dahlia over here. Finally starting to bloom. Just beginning. project that I'm working on started out with this palette and as you can see I really switched gears and went with something way more organic and the only uh, small tea from small tea emporium was this black one that I used for those tabs and then to make the black sort of uh, relate more to the mosaic I started adding some black pearls and beads in there and I have this ceramic material, which is something that I made in 2005 when I took a ceramic class. Uh, I, I made the pieces specifically so that I could cut them up and use them in mosaics. So just hadn't got to that one yet. These are some more pieces I made back in 2005 and hadn't had a chance to use yet. And then these are shells with uh, some gold added to them. And uh, I, I cut all these shells to fit. And then in the background here, I'm thinking of using some of this, which is mother of pearl chips in a similar fashion that I did here. Only instead of on a darker, using a darker thin set, I'll be using the lighter thin set that I'm going with here. So more buttery. That's it. We headed to the beach to self-isolate and I'm uh, gonna have to pack this and bring it with. We're driving so it shouldn't be too difficult. I'm just gonna put the wrap and put it in my suitcase. And that's putting it together. See you next time.